Friday. Finally Friday. <laughs> Been a long wait for you guys. It has. Our oldest started band camp, so it's been late starts every day. So right. Fun stuff. Good. <laughs> so what's up with a hundred dollar bill? So we were doing a contest. All you have to do is get on the truck and you get a ticket to, for a chance to win. Wow. Yeah. How so cool is that? it's pretty nice. Just show up on the truck and That's it. All you bam. gotta do is show up. Well, can't beat that. Yeah, the only kicker is it's a one week ticket mm -hmm. so the people last week you had if you got a ticket you had to come back out to the truck to check it we didn't post it online or oh anything. yeah well, that's cool so we haven't got a winner yet so uh oh if nobody yeah. picks it we're gonna start another round next week well if they ain't been a winner what you should do is take that and that'd be your tip for the week be nice <laughs> wouldn't it pay the tool bill <laughs> that's it well what's new and exciting well we got a few things here and there. Milwaukee's doing some really good promos right now. Okay. So we're selling through them like crazy. The biggest thing right now is fans. Oh, yeah. That's so hot. on our truck, for sure, the promo is you get you buy a two-pack of batteries and you get a fan for free or a spot blower or something. I think Michael mm -hmm. kind of touched on that about a week or two ago, Yeah. which was pretty nice. So we've been selling through those like crazy. Mm, I was trying to think of something that we had. We did get this yesterday. It's not new, new, but everybody likes Yeti. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is nice. Yeah. So, if you still like the cans, I mean, throw it in there. Support Maco. Pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I had a funny comment that was left, and uh, some guy was talking about how Maco doesn't rebrand or doesn't make anything, right? Of course you hear that 50 billion times oh, yeah. but like i guess the normal world outside of people that actually use tool trucks yeah don't realize the value of you come into the shop you know like the very first time michael come here um well it wasn't the first time it's one of the first few times we was trying to remove a stud that was stripped out and michael comes out of the truck and he walks back in with the nip x um, that's kind of like the Swedish pop wrench pliers or yeah. whatever. And we got this, the stud out and I'm like, I'll take them. You know, like people don't understand the value of that. that don't okay. work. So the guy was talking about Matco ratchets, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, mm -hmm. dude, yeah, I said Matco ratchets in my opinion is one of the best ratchets made. And of course that led into, oh, it's just gear wrench. Even though we've showed the difference before yeah. and Matco's made in USA or whatever, but I still think that's kind of weird that, you know, that's kind of like the common topic when you guys have right. so many exclusive tools that you can't get anywhere else. But, uh, well, that's like, it's kind of gets old. Exactly. So <laughs> our ratchets, they are, they're made here. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I've been I there. Like, like I, mean, I, I never left the USA to go see the ratchets being made and I've, I've seen every bit of it from start to finish. Exactly. So we actually sold somebody one of our ratchets. They work at a factory. Mm -hmm. um, they have a new machine. It is snapping off every other ratchet they have bought. In this town, they have a Harbor Freight. They have mm -hmm. a um, hardware store that sells, is it Craftsman? I think they sell or something like that. And they said, could yours hold up? Michael said. Absolutely. Yeah. If Definitely. it don't, I'll fix it. Exactly. I'll come to you to fix it. <laughs> That's, that was his first words is, if yep. it breaks, call me. I will head this way and I will fix it. Every time it breaks, I'll fix it. If it, you know, the gear strip in it, if mm -hmm. the animal breaks, if you break the whole ear off of it, we will just give you a right. brand new ratchet. He grabbed two, off the truck he went. I mean. Has he, he broke it yet? Nope, not yet. There you go. So. Like you said, it's us coming here is one of mm -hmm. the big things. So the Streamlights. Maco has, you know, a deal with Streamlight where we can send it in as long as it's to an extent. Sure. You can't go run over it with a truck mm -hmm. and send it in. I mean, they're going to kick it back. But LED's flashing, won't charge like it's supposed to. You bring it on here, I'm going to swap it out with you. No big deal. That's a big selling point. Our Milwaukee. You buy it from us, 
I'll warranty it for you, no problem. Mm -hmm. So we've had some people get on here and say, hey, look, my ratchet's not doing what I want it to do. Can you send it off? You know, send it right off. If you buy it from somebody else, it's going to be, you're going to have to run to Tupelo or wherever. I don't right. know how Ace does theirs. Mm -hmm. But I know that somebody said they went to Home Depot and tried to warranty one out, and it was an act of Congress to, I mean, I'm a no questions <laughs> asked kind of person. Yeah. If it looks like it's still decent, I mean, yeah. I'm going to send it in, you know, spray brake clean or something, you know, so get the grease off the outside of it to make it look decent. Right. But, I mean, I'm not going to question, as long as you hadn't run over it with a truck, it'll be fine. Well, I think people forget the value in that a lot of times because, I mean, it is what it is, you know. It is. And we get a lot. Um, so when Michael's not with me and I don't know what I'm, you ask me for a tool and I'm not 100% on it. If I can't get a hold of him, I'm going to look it up myself and I'm going to say, okay, well, what specifically does it do? Because in my book, okay, so I'll give you an example. This to me is a wobble socket. Yes. This is a pinless wobble socket. Mm -hmm. And then we have a pinned one. Okay. Most of your generic brands of a pin, they're not gonna be pinless, especially if you go to like up to Walmart. Mm -hmm. I think they have a, a heart brand pin socket. Somebody asked me at a transmission shop, hey, do you have one like this? He said, it's not your brand, but do you have one like that? So I come out here and I'm like, I'm looking, I said, it's a wobble socket. He said, a wobble socket I said yeah it's you know one of those that does this <laughs> and he's like oh okay and I was talking to Michael about it. he said how about one of those universal sockets and yeah. I said yeah but I've heard people call it a mm -hmm. wobble socket so I'm like that's what I call it but in the book it's not going to be that so when I go to look something up or on our e-catalog it's going to be under universal so I'm kind of like you know you have to explain to me what does it do right well, I mean, you just kind of learn that as you go, because like everything that's a slip plier is a channel lock, right? No matter what brand. It's a channel lock, right? And no matter if, it, if it's got a thumb wheel adjustment on it, it's a crescent wrench. Exactly. No matter what brand it is, it's a crescent wrench. So, <laughs> so. so we got some of these on here. It's a channel lock. The, the yeah. brand is channel lock. They're little video pliers. Mm -hmm. Somebody asked for them. We have Nipix. I think there's some on the ceiling up there above your head. The little fours. Yep. So we have those. Or yep. that, yeah, the fives right there with the rubber grip on them. We have people that like this style. We have them that like that. I call them water pump pliers. Mm -hmm. People call them channel locks. Well, this guy, he said, that's not a channel lock. I said, yeah, it is. I said, it says channel lock on it right there. He's like, no, channel locks are the ones that do this. I said, no, I said, that's my water pump pliers back here. <laughs> He's like, no, that's channel lock. And so we went through this big discussion like that. Yeah. I like, well, I thought it was channel lock. I said, no, I said, to me, that's a nippet. You know, that's nippet. That's my right. water pump pliers. Sell hundred of them. I said, these are my little old pliers. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Everybody's different. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess it's all in the area you're from. It is. So yeah. what uh what's some more of the Milwaukee deals you got? Because you got a lot well, of Milwaukee up there. Hmm. Let me see. We what's have, the best deal in your opinion? I think y'all got. It all depends. If you have a Milwaukee charger, and normally if you have Milwaukee, you have bought a kit in your lifetime. Mm -hmm. The best deal that I think right now, if you don't have a mid torque impact that you don't want, just the big one. This one. Yeah, that's the mid torque. Okay. So, on our truck, you buy this one and you get the, we're given that battery with it. Wow. So, for the price of it, if you put them together, you know, it's pretty nice. And that's a 5 amp battery? <laughs> Was that a 5 amp battery? Yes, it is. An wow. extra capacity 5 amp. So, that's a and good deal. it's the resistant one. So, it's supposed to be more resistant to like oil sure. and stuff like that. It's pretty nice. We sell a bunch of them. Um, the guy, he's like, look, I need something that's not as big as the half inch, you know, like, mm -hmm. because the new half inch, you know, it has like, I call it the stub nose. Like it yeah. don't have the cone. Right. Um, he's like, I don't really need it that big. So this one is just a little bit smaller, mm -hmm. but not as small as the stubby because he didn't want the stubby. I'm like, all right, well, we'll go 
somewhere in there. So I showed him all three of them, and he wanted that one. Luckily, that one was on deal. There you go. So yeah, we'll take it. I mean, I like having Milwaukee with us. Yeah, because it's nice. Nine times out of ten, everybody has Milwaukee. If they're, you know, around working on vehicles. Mm -hmm. Tire shops. What I like is because they kind of covers everything. Like, you can weed exactly. eat, you can use a chainsaw. Like, there's tons of options, you know. All with the same battery. Yeah. And a lot of people don't understand that. So, the fan back here is an M18. It mm -hmm. takes that 5 battery. Yeah. Yeah. So, Those are good fans, too. Yeah. So, it'll take the 5 battery, this M18 battery, and then this impact takes the same one. So I mean, here's a fun fact for you guys that may like to play golf and it's hotter than crap out here. It is. <laughs> so I had one of these and it works good, but you have to put it in the floorboard of the golf cart or if you're nobody's driving with you, you put it in the seat, right? Yeah. The problem is it's big. It is. Put a floorboard, I don't think it blows on your feet. Kind of sucks. You still burn alive. But, yep. you know. So I had Leslie and Michael order the 12 volt one so like and it has a clip and it has a magnet on the bottom of it so what's cool about this dude is it's got like a big metal does it show the on the back of it how oh. the the clip is i'm just not opening for you so you can see it so see yeah it. you can see it right here you don't have to open it yeah. so it's designed to go around like four by fours or Two by fours, two by sixes, whatever on the job site, right? Mm -hmm. So what's cool is the magnets will go around the front frame on the golf cart because it's a steel bar that holds like the windshield on top of it. That clip will reach around behind it. Now it'll hold it there. It'll hold it fine until you hit a lot of rough stuff. Then it wants to kind of twist. Yeah. So what I figured out you can do, I got a bottle opener with a carabiner on it. I run it through there and clip it to it, and it kind of puts a little more tension on that clamp part. Oh, okay. And it will hold it. And that thing will swivel around however it's you want it to swivel. Yep. So it's a way better fan for your golf cart. Okay. It will mount on the top. Like, you can clip it to the top or the side or whatever, but it works really good. I know so. um, we had that on there. Um, I had one. It was hot. Like, I think it was one of those days where the heat index was like 110. Mm -hmm. The air back here was, it was trying, bless its heart. But right <laughs> here, you don't get any air. Like, the fan goes straight back, which yep. is for the customers. And I'm sitting here like, I burn up. So I grab it and I clip it here yep. to this. They work wood. good. They yeah. really do. And Mississippi roads are like, mm -hmm. I think all the potholes have like little villages down in there yep. because they're so deep. But hit a few of them. Everything falls off the shelf, of course. Never moved at all. And like, I was really surprised. I was like, it's gonna slide. But it, mm -hmm. on that rail, that metal piece, don't it have like a little piece of black, um, like rubber on Mine it? Mine does that. It. It, it's just the plain, the plain, board. plain metal. But, I get you. but yeah. I did use it. We, we took the side by side out. Of course, we parked and I was able to plug or hook that thing up on my side by side. It, it's, 10 million places you can put on side by side, right? Okay. But it's really good. Like, in my opinion, for not just using it on a table, like this one, that one's a better fan for like how you can use it yeah. in different ways that you would want to use it. Yeah, that one's more of a stationary, like mm -hmm. I'm at the ball field, yeah. I'm gonna stay in my area, the kids playing right here. This one's like, it can go anywhere, yep. honestly. Like, it's a lot better fan. It's a better design, in my opinion. And I like the way it can turn however you want it. Because, like, this one... You just, can go straight up. You can go straight up or, you know, angle cool. like that one. You can you can have it blown upside down if you want it to. So. Exactly. So, if you want to hang it up high, you can. Yep. <laughs> really good fans. So you guys check that one out. Because it's... They're on sale right now. You might as well. Well, worth the money. They are. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to talk to Miss Leslie about a ratchet that I've been looking at, and uh, that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you like the video. If you do, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. Y'all have a great weekend. See ya.